This is the second video for how to find surface area of a composite shape. Sorry that it took me 15 minutes to do three problems, but here we are with letter D and we're going to do it right without rushing. All right, so letter D is slightly different than the previous couple because it's not made up of a prism or a pyramid. So this is our first one with a um, non-polyhedron. If you think about the shapes in letter D, it's made up of a cylinder beautiful, with a radius of 2 and a height of 2.5. The other thing that it's made up of is half of a sphere. If you think about a sphere and you cut it in half, so you have a tennis ball and cut it in half, it's really hollow inside. So when you think about this circular region, I know that in the previous problems we subtracted out 2 because it went to the top of this and it went to the top of that. Same with the previous problems, but in this particular one, a cylinder, we're calculating the surface area of that top and the bottom and all the sides, but when you find the surface area of a sphere, you're finding what's on the outside. The inside has really nothing to do with it, so you're going to subtract away one whole circle. Again, think about the top of this as a tennis ball. If you cut a tennis ball in half, it's hollow. The purpose of what we're trying to do is to find the surfaces that would be painted. So on the outside of a um, sphere, we're just, or we are just dealing with the outside of a sphere. So we are going to find the surface area of the cylinder. We're going to find the surface area of half of a sphere and we're going to subtract away the one circle that is blocking the flow of any sort of sand or water to get in the top of the shape to fill it all the way from the bottom up to the top. All right, so formula for, um, what is that thing? Cylinder, 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. So let's see, if r is 2, then 2 squared is 4. So 2 times the 4 is 8 plus 2 pi times radius times height. So 2 times 2 and a half is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. So I have 8 pi plus 10 pi. So the surface area of the cylinder is 18 pi. Now for half of that sphere, a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So if we're going to find half of the sphere, we're really going to do 2 pi r squared. So 2 times pi times r squared. 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. And then like I said, there's only a single circle here. It's what's represented by the top of this can. That would be the only thing blocking water from flowing through. If the top of the can were here, it would hit the top and it would only fill up the sphere. But by removing the top of that can, now water could flow all the way from the bottom up through the entire figure. So I'm going to subtract away the area of only one circle, minus 1 pi r squared. So r is 2, 2 squared is 4, so minus 4 pi. I really like problems with pi because there's not a whole lot of extra calculation. 18 plus 8 minus 4 is 22 pi centimeters squared. If you want to type it into your calculator and look at that decimal, I guess that'd be okay. I have a feeling though that on a test or quiz, I'd be asking you to leave it in terms of pi. All right, so that one wasn't too bad, hopefully. I do understand that these can be frustrating. There's a ton of room for error. If it wasn't enough to find the surface area of one shape, now we're finding the surface area of multiple shapes and subtracting things away. I also want to say that I will leave room for the fact that there are other ways to go about this, other ideas that you might have. This is just the way that I'm going to approach it via video, and please make sure that you write down any questions or star anything, um, and I can do the best I can to answer when I return. Thank you so much.